Right, good evening to anybody who may see this. I'm just starting my stream in respect of the Chess.com Arena Kings. This is season 5, week 6, Friday. And we have about 4 minutes to go to the start. Might just make sure I've got my window open. just paste the link in just to confirm that I'm streaming the event. You don't have to do it every week but it's that little bit easier to administer the event. Oh Danya has just landed, wow 3001 rating. All these title players, very strong field. I'm all the way down there. Right, we have just under three minutes to go. And as usual, in the morning, I will be uploading this stream to my Facebook and YouTube channels, so if anybody prefers to just skim through rather than watching anything live, it will be available in the morning. How many GMs have we got? Five, six, seven. The top seven are all GMs. Right, we're into the last two minutes before we start now. the one minute warning sound so one minute to go we have 141 players in so far but I expect that will be more like 400 500 by the second half of the event hopefully a lot more players will join in get ready to go. So good luck everybody, hope we have a good tournament. Oh Halvard again, we played in the first game last week as well, which was a draw. Which way do I want to go? I think I'll pin the knight, try and castle. Right now I'll drop back. 
Oh, Hikaru's just come online. Hopefully he's going to be joining in then, just slightly late joining. Now, I've got to move the queen here, I think, because this pawn's going to storm down. I think I'll just castle and maybe drop the bishop back. You can always take first. My queen up. I don't think he's going to castle the queen side. Let's just get the knight up. Okay, now I'm going to offer a trade of bishops. Goes back. So again, offer a trade of bishops. Okay, it comes forward. I think I'm okay to take. Got to be a little careful here about discoveries. Ah, knight down allows knight check winning the queen. That's a bit careless. Right, let's just make sure that's not a mistake. Oh, I'm getting slow. I'm down on the clock again. Okay, so... Definitely not playing this too well. I think rook up and knight up, but completely misplaying this position. Now what I need is to move this knight somewhere. Okay, so he wants to grab the pawn. Knight all oh, doesn't quite work. I think I'm going to have to just abandon that pawn. I'll try and trade the queens, and if not, maybe get the rook across, but yeah, this pawn is still going to fall. So can I get any compensation? I don't see it. Hmm. It's not a good move rook across, is it? It's not a move you want to play. So I've really got to go for this. I don't think I've got any choice. Now I'll try and get the king across maybe. But this is a horrible position. I might be able to get rook over though. Trade off and win up on this side. If he advances, take. Okay, so... Now I think I can go back. I'm still so bogged down, it's still a really poor position, this. Hmm. Let's run the king across if we can. It might just release one of my rooks. If I can get the king across, it might release a rook. Taking a risk, going to try and throw in a check. I think I'm completely busted, so I really have to risk this. Well, he's got to be a bit careful, he's not getting checkmated. He's got to be a bit careful. Oh no, I've got to be careful I'm not getting checkmated. No, I'm just busted, aren't I? I'm just busted. Yeah, we 
well done. Well played, Halvard. Very good one. Alright, a rare E4 game. I hardly ever play E4 in Blitz. Okay, let's pin the knight. Okay, I can go forward, I can drop back. Let's just drop back. So let's go for two knights against two bishops. on this pawn so he might play the rook straight back he does so now I can come down and threaten this pawn so I'm still threatening this pawn so take take exchange off okay let's go here I don't think I'm worth doing this I may not gain anything but I don't think I'm worth off Now I must make sure I play a move forward so there's no back rank issue, then this rook can keep itself activated. Okay, so he's going for the pawn. I don't really want to defend it, so I'm going to just grab a pawn while I can. But I've got to try and get behind there. If I have any chance, I've got to stay behind here. I've got to play a pawn up and then this rook can start wandering. Or maybe H4. I like the look of G3 though. Alright, so he wants to go there as well. Okay, rook across, rook down, rook across to protect. I think I'm just going to play rock across immediately, but I'm so slow again. Speed has just gone completely terrible. So I'm going to try and throw in a check and then go after his F pawn. this pawn as well okay he's got a check but there's no mate threat I can escape if I can pick his pawns up I might have to sack a rook later on but you never know you never know if I, I might be able to get my rook active and go after a checkmate somewhere I mean rook there because then his king's a bit perilous isn't it rook there threatens checkmate doesn't it oh not if I lose that pawn it doesn't But checking has to go back. Oh, now he's he's got to have walked into it. How does he defend it? Now I'm threatening mate. I don't see how he defends it unless I'm missing something. Excellent, that's a good win. Wow, 10 points for the leader already. Go slightly slower opening. Maybe go G3. Okay, this could get interesting. I think I'll go E3 just in case he doesn't take. So now you're up to hit the pawn. Okay, 
comes forward. So is b4 playable? Takes, takes, bishop takes. Don't really like the look of that. Don't like the look of takes. I think I'll just play b3 for now, maybe bring the bishop up. Right, now I'm going to try and alter the pawn structure a little bit. Now, the question is, do I risk an f4? Do I pretty much abandon the pawn? Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay, I'll take that. And queen up. Just pressure on the pawn. Maybe get rook across onto the open file. <coughs> if he plays f5, I think I can take on Passant. Then if bishop takes, queen takes pawn with a check. Okay, so I think I can just take the pawn then. He comes forward. I think queen down looks okay. So I've still got the same dilemma. Dare I play pawn forward? I just go f5. I think I'll put a rook onto the file. play rook forward. If he takes, I can take with a pawn. If he takes his pawn, I think I can take. He might advance. He might risk advancing. Still a tricky position. Still tricky. Okay, goes across. So I think I've got to play a pawn forward now and hope to try and get this pawn forward. But now the bishop might get active. Okay, so do I abandon that side to defend this? Do I even go crazy and go forward? Hmm. Bishop up, queen down. He's got queen there, but I can go queen here maybe. Let's risk that. If queen down, I'm going to play queen forward, hit the rook and bishop. Okay, I'll take that. Just push. Potentially I can go forward here for the bishop to support the pawn if I can get it one square further forward. Don't know if this is any good or not. So he's offered a queen trade. Can I trade and just push the pawn? I think I can just push the pawn, can't I? If bishop down, just push. Oh, I've blundered it, have I? Oh no, bishop down, that was the plan. So I have blundered it, haven't I? Definitely can't take that. Wow, what a terrible blunder. So I don't think I can stop this now. So clearly that pawn is the key to the game, but he is short of time. So I'm going to try and prepare to bring the king round. You never know, I might be able to flag him. I'll push that pawn slowly to use an extra move. If not now, I'll just check. Right, now I'm going to see if he checks. So I have to drop back right. I've got to go there. Now he should have moved his rook across there.
Excellent. Managed to flag him. Excellent. A little bit fortunate in the end there. Completely misplayed that. Okay, let's try Sicilian. I normally play the Karakan, so let's just play something different. Okay. I think I'll just play pawns forward slowly. Okay, he drops back. Have I got something like Queen up now? I don't think it's quite playable, so just castle. Hmm. Let's play a knight across, just try and pressure that pawn. Ooh, can double his pawns up. It's double-edged, this. Double-edged. But can I get bishop up and rook across? I've opened the f-file up for him to attack, so it's very double-edged. <coughs> okay, so he might look to come in there. Actually, I don't really mind that. I'm still going to just move the rook anyway. Now I'm going to be double up. Ooh, so I've got to be careful there that I don't move the knight and allow a checkmate. Let's play a rook across. Maybe f6 might be sensible there. Yeah, I'm going to play f6 just to cut the diagonal in the file. And now my knight's free to move. Don't know if it's worth moving, but at least it's free to move. Maybe, can I play a rook across to pressure the pawn? Knight up. Knight down, hit the queen. Okay, let's just hit the queen. He's got to go somewhere. Maybe bring the other knight over. That's possible. Okay, I think I'll actually just go back. Now maybe pawn forward is playable with his queen on this file. If he comes forward, I can take because the knight covers the rook. I think, yeah, I have to take if he takes. I think that's forced. But if he takes here, I think I can just take with a knight. If I take with a rook, he's got rook takes knight. If I take with a knight, rook across, am I going to lose something? That's the question. I might be losing a piece to doing this, but I think I've got to risk it. Now, I can actually just move there, can't I? Oh, I can't go there. Queen trades, he gets rook down fork in the night, so... Not so easy. Let's play queen across out of the pin. Oh, and I've walked into another one. Okay, so I've got to hit the bishop. If he takes, I've got to take. Okay, I don't have to actually take there. Okay, that's a draw, well played, fair result. Queen check, he had king up, I didn't see a mating attack there, so fair result for both of us. Okay, let's do a Sicilian. right here. He can play a queen up, we can just trade off a little bit, but... Hmm. 
Still tricky, still tricky. But if he castles, I'll just take the bishop, take, take. Queen up. Okay, he moves the bishop, but now he can't castle. So I could play a knight up, I can play a pawn up. I think just pawn up so I don't lose this pawn. I've got to try and play the knight up if I can. Okay. So I think knight up is playable there. Look across, maybe knight up. Rook across, he can just simply take. So obviously got to give the pawn back. Let's just prepare to go for g4. Okay, could drop the knight back. Yeah, let's drop the knight back. Ah, he was after getting his rook there. He wasn't trying to win a pawn. So let's just develop. Okay. Well, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go g4. So he's hit the bishop, okay, I can definitely take that. Oh, I've lost the queen, what am I doing? What am I doing? What an idiot, I just didn't see it. Wow. If he takes the knight, though, I get his bishop. If I've got two pieces, then it could be worse. I've just got to double the rocks up. Okay, I think it's best to take first. And hope I can double the rocks up, hope I'm not blundering. Wow, what a blunder. <coughs> right, so now there's an obvious threat of a check, so he's got to do something about that. Presumably he'll go here. He goes back, so the bishop can't take. So I think rook up just to threaten to take a pawn. Hmm, has he got a move like queen across to hit two pieces? Oh. He's blundered it. Wow. He just forgot about it. Okay, so rook across hit the pawn. I think just rook across to hit this pawn again. Right, so take a pawn. I'm very happy to simplify, of course. Just take a pawn. Am I missing something? No, just take. Right, now check and pick up the other pawn, maybe. He's got to defend his bishop. So check and maybe just advance. Yeah, let's just advance. Now if he defends it, I think I can just push the pawn. Oh, he brings his bishop forward. I didn't expect that. So knight up. Okay. Still not easy to win this. Not easy to win. I want to keep his king pet back if I can. Not quite sure how. on the clock so that's an advantage yeah I think bishop up and just run the king up well that's a definite advantage now just push the pawn Yeah, no 
need to get that polymer wheel. Oh, he blundered his rock and I didn't take it. Wow. Good win though. Oh, this is a 2400, so a much stronger player than what I've faced so far. Okay, I think taking is alright. Okay, so again I can take, I can go E4. Let's just take and go. Actually, no, I don't want D4. I'll go D3, maybe rook across. Now B3 and bishop up. Okay, now I can actually, I think I can play E4 there. I can play a knight up. Knight up looks playable. Right, now I'll go E4. If he takes, obviously it's on for some. I'll just take back. Hmm, don't really want the queens off. Let's just threaten a cheesy checkmate here. Right, so can I get in? I think I've got pawn forward. If he takes, I'll take with a bishop and then it protects the other pawn. Actually, I could take with a queen. No, you can't take there if I can just take with a queen and get on the diagonal. So you won't take there. Hmm. Let's just play rook across, keep this pinned. Have I got queen across to pressure this pawn as well? Okay, just pressure this pawn. The pawn up, he's got rook takes. Let's take. Okay, so now I've got a risk here to assess. Take, take, but then this pawn might fall. Hmm. That's irritating. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Probably losing, but I'm risking it. Now if he takes it, I can just take and that's checkmate, so he can't take that. Okay, so he's given the exchange straight back. So again, if he takes, I can take with a check. He pushes, and as soon as I go after that pawn, then I'm no longer threatening, so he can now take, we can trade off. Okay, let's hit both pawns. Queen down, okay, so I can grab a pawn, lose a pawn, am I missing any tricks? Probably missing something, but if you can't see something, you can't see something. Okay, so I think it's pretty essential to come back over there. Has he got queen down? Uh, no. Now again, I've got rook across, but it's just risking a straight loss, isn't it? I'll offer him a draw. I don't think he'll want it. He doesn't. Okay, so time to try and advance these pawns. My concern is this, takes, takes, and I could be in trouble, but otherwise I'm just going to try and push my pawn. Okay, so just push, and then try and push again. Okay, so I might have blundered a pawn there. Is 
There's got to be something. Right, let's go on the attack and threaten to check. Actually, let's push the pawn. I'm trying to split his rook off so I can throw in a check. Don't know if it's any good or not, but that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. I don't see anything better. Couldn't go there because the queen could fork the rook. Ah, oh, I've walked into a pin. Well done. Well played, but decent game. Okay, so he wants to come forward. Hmm. Let's throw in a C5 then. Right, I'm just preparing to be able to play the bishop back down here. Hmm, maybe knight across looks tempting now, try and undouble my pawns. Okay, so he's going after this pawn. Potentially this one. I'm not sure if pawn fall is any good there or not. Okay, I'll take that. Right, drop back. Now he can't take there because of the bishop check. So he doesn't try. So again, he still can't take there because of that bishop check. So I'm just preparing up to simply move rook across and I've walked into a pin. Terrible. Okay, so keep the pawn protected, give him the exchange. <coughs> and now we need some sort of miracle. Okay, rook takes doesn't quite work. I think bishop back for now, so they try and get the king tucked away, and then run a pawn up the board. Right, just protect the bishop. Ah, trouble is I can't protect it again, can I? That's definitely a mistake. I'm just going to try and push a pawn right up the board if I can. No, literally as far as it can go. Now, if I get the pawn in the next square, then he has something to think about, and I've done that. Right, so now there's a big, big threat. So, bishop in, pawn up. Have I got rook takes? I don't think so. Again, have I got bishop takes? Hitting the rook. Takes, again, I don't think it's quite playable. I think bishop on to hit the queen is playable, and then bishop in. If he moves queen off the file, I can play queen in, I think. So again, I can take. Right, so hit the knight. Right, I want to put the queen there. So now I'm threatening potentially to take here. Okay, bishop in, I don't know. Ooh, is bishop in playable now? It is. It's now playable because I hit the rook, which isn't protected, and I'm hitting the queen as well. Oh, he's hit my queen. I don't believe it. Wow, he's hit the queen. I've blundered horrifically. Terrible blunder. Wow. That's a shocker of a blunder, so now I have to be lost. I mean, what can I possibly do there? What can I possibly do now? I 
I need him to move his rook off the back rank to try and allow a queen check. No, nothing I can do here, is there? Let's drop back. I don't see how I shift that knight and I don't want to lose the queen. Ah, I can put the bishop there. Maybe g5 and f4. What? Can he play that? Right, so pin the knight again, protect the pawn. Grabs the pawn. Oh, he dropped his queen. He blundered his queen. I missed it. What am I doing? He just blundered a queen. I missed it. Wow. He actually blundered. He blundered the queen and I missed it. Wow. I somehow flagged him. Did not deserve that at all. Play a g6, bishop g7. I can pre move because there's no tricks there. Okay, let's just castle. Okay, it's like knight's got to come back. So, how do I open this up? Let's just go up the board. Still go up the board. Okay, I'm gonna sack. Now if I get here h5 and it's maybe not too bad. I think I can trade and go here h5, can I just to stop him advancing? Then king across maybe. Mm. Hmm. I'm going to try and chuck a pawn here, just sack. Right, now he is threatening to take that. In fact, he might be threatening to take anyway. Take like knight over. Now, I can't play queen takes because of queen takes there, and the knight is pinned. So I need to try and get rook across if I can. Ooh, rook across and he can still push the pawn. Queen up, pawn down. I can take, take, and I can't move, so that's a problem. I oh, know I can take the pawn, can't I? What am I doing? I can take the pawn, it's not protected. Now I'm threatening queen check and I can take back with a pawn. I was, I'm not now. Oops, can't move across, so I'll kick the knight. Okay, queen check. He has to be careful here with a potential net to get in. Well, see, I've got to be careful I don't blunder a loss, but... Let's go forward, hit the knight. If his knight wanders off, I've potentially got queen up. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Is this just lost on the spot? It is, isn't it? I've just blundered. King down, rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes. And I think he gets checkmate, but I don't think I can stop it. Wow. Very well done. Very well done. Terrible game. Terrible. Let's go back to e4. Something I very rarely play. Oh, we have an aggressive gambit line. Okay. Wow, he's playing like a bullet game. Okay, let's pin a knight. Hmm, no, I don't want to play up there. Let's just develop a knight. Right, now I think I have to play up. So that was obviously what he wanted. Let's look to trade the bishop. crazy in advance he will. Okay, so I'll take him up on that challenge. Try and get knight forward. Okay, I'll trade. Throw the knight forward. Now if he takes, do I take? Do I check? Do I take with a rook? I think the rook's more pressing because I'm threatening queen check to win the bishop. Okay, I'm not now, but maybe rook up threatening a check. I mean, queen up is an obvious threat. It's whether he's got the defense to hold it. He probably has, but. Oops, 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 oops. Hmm, have I got to come all the way back? That's annoying. But if I play queen up, he's just got rook over. And I have to trade. I think I might as well do that, actually. If he plays rook across, I'll just trade the rook. Now hit the bishop anyway. Got to get this rook active. Maybe something like this. Let's go forward, and then if he wanders down too much, I've maybe got to check. Oh, it's a back rank mate, I missed it. Wow. I just missed it with a back rank mate because of the bishop. Well done. <coughs> wow, 43 points for the leader. Stick to tradition, be traditional. Let's go forward. Okay, let's pin the knight. Right, stop the knight jumping forward. Now, queen up is potentially playable. Just got to figure out how not to lose pieces. I think. Ooh, it doesn't matter which way I move, does it? Wow, that is a cataclysmic blunder. That is an horrific blunder. Right, let's pin the knight, but he can still advance. Right, what a hideous blunder. Absolutely terrible. Bishop back, maybe. Hmm. 
Bishop right back is a really ugly move, isn't it? Really bad. Actually, Bishop back though takes away a mate threat. It puts a piece relatively safe. How do I get my queen active? Gotta get this queen active. Now I'm threatening maybe to take there. Take, take and grab a pawn. Doesn't really do much, but. Okay, so he's covered that potential. Knight up. Again, I don't think it does much. Well, let's go for it. If I'm lost, you might as well risk something. Just go f5, f4. Okay, let's drop the bishop back, just let the player fall. Right, knight forward, so I might have to take there. Knight I have to take there, but I'll still play f4. Oh, he grabs it, okay. So I the bishop up to hit the rook. Put pressure on the pawn indirectly. Well, now I've got a pin on the rook and queen. Okay, hit the queen. He might grab the pawn, and I've got to just play out the way. Oh, actually. Maybe pressure the rook again is a better move. Yeah, if he grabs the pawn... No, he can't grab the pawn, the rook's blocking the path. So it's just a straight hit on the queen. <coughs> oh, what's that? Internet's dropped. Oh, the lights are on on my router. What on earth's happened there? Internet's dropped, but there's nothing wrong with my router. Oh, I do not believe it. What's happened to the internet? My signal bars have gone. It says offline. I'm not offline. The green lights are on my router. Oh, wow. Well, that's an automatic loss, isn't it? What on earth has happened? That says excellent, but my router has two green lights on it, and they're both still on. It's not showing any internet issue. No, my internet's still working. Wow. <coughs> Something has gone wrong with the system. Because my internet's still working. What on earth happened there? My Twitch is still working fine. My Twitch is still working. What on earth's happened? What's happened there? What on earth's happened? Wow, it's just given me a loss, hasn't it? It's just finished it. What on earth happened there? Wow, I don't know what on earth happened to the internet there because my internet was actually still working. My Twitch was on on another screen and it was still running fine. Okay, now that can't be good. Let's get Queen off this file, and we're going to blast forward at some point soon. But I don't really think that's a good way to play. Let's try and open some files up. Just Bishop or Brook across. Wow, so he's really going for it. So do a sack. Hmm. Takes, takes. Let's just drop back and pressure this pawn. Okay, so go forward. Okay, I don't see what that does or threatens.
Let's just play pawn up and pawn up, take the queen. Right, my knight could be in a spot of bother here, it can't really go forward now. Hmm. What on earth do I do here? Let's go forward. <coughs> if he takes with either pawn or just take, he doesn't. So I'll take. Go forward. I'm going to try and get a bishop in here. So now the knight's got a nice square I can go to. Again, I don't see what that's threatening. So let's play the knight in. Okay, well now I can throw in a check so he can't castle. So I can take the knight, I can drop back. Let's drop back and hit the bishop. Potentially I can take a knight. Don't really want to do that. Oh, there's got to be a way to exploit this. There's got to be. Hmm. Well, let's get the rook across. Put the bishop forward, it's protected. Can I bring the knight up? Queen up knight over. God, he's playing quicker than he though. He's played quicker than I have. I've got to speed up, otherwise I'm in trouble. But maybe g3 looks sensible, but then he's just going to come forward. What's he done? Knight over. Hmm. Now I think I can play bishop up. Try and get rid of this knight, and if he takes there, I'm threatening this knight. So just take. Right, knight in to hit the bishop. So now I'm creeping forward a little bit. I'm hitting this pawn as well. If bishop back, I think I can play pawn forward. Okay. I think I can just take and take the rook there. Queen's not hitting my rook, there's no immediate mate threat against me. Drops back, so let's just take the bishop, give up the bishop. Drop back, so now we'll take the pawn next move, depending on what he does. Just got to make sure I don't leave a back rank mate open. Now oh, that's a free pawn with a check. Now potentially another one. He can't come forward, all the squares are covered, so I could get the queen off with a check, but rook check and take the rook in as a back rank mate, so let's just go the simple safe way. Now I'm definitely threatening a check to whip the rook. Okay, just make sure there's no back rank issue. I'm absolutely certain. Now get the rook forward and try and go after the pawn. I think knight down looks fine there. Right now I'm on the clock so I should be alright. Check up, now this pawn's under threat. So I'll take it with a check. Maybe knight forward, push the pawn. King up, I can just check and tear this pawn. Good win. Okay, let's play a true routing. Now, if you play e6, you normally meet with g3. Ooh, that's very bold. If you play c6, you normally meet it with b3. 
think I'll just castle first, but B3 is an idea. I think I'll take a pawn first, though. No. You've got to be a little careful here to moves like this, but you can always throw in D4. Okay, so D3 and knight up. Rook across. And at some point we want to try and go forward. So takes, 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 takes. I don't think it quite works out. Let's play pawn forward. Okay. I think queen up so we can potentially move the rook. We've just got to try not to drop the pawn. Bishop over. So let's look to trade off this bishop. Right, I'll take that. Protect the pawn. Hmm. Let's try and go forward, maybe potentially a knight in. It's really just a distraction move though, it doesn't really do anything. Let's just come back. Okay, that's a good move because he threatens bishop down now. Mm, I can't protect that, can I? Can I play a knight back? Wow, I've not played this very well. Bishop back is playable as well. 30 seconds down again, I'm getting 30 seconds down against everybody. So now d4 is probably forced. Let me just trade. Oh, he's gone back, he didn't see that I was hitting his bishop. That's a bit unfortunate. He's very unfortunate there, he was playing well up to that point. Right, a 2500, so again, this will be a different league altogether. Potentially. Okay, so he wants to hit my pawn as well. So rook across, bishop back. <coughs> oh, so he's given me a chance to take, go for a gambit. Okay, let's go for it, why not? We take with a check, we can maybe take the bishop and really open things up. Okay, so I've still actually got a check there. So now he's got a big threat. So he gets rook up. Knight takes, knight takes. I think he's covered it. Rook up, pawn down, knight over. Right, I've got to drop back. Okay, I think doubling the rooks up is my only real option here. Let's just play F6, make sure the bishop is really, really rock solid. I mean, can he play something like bishop up? But then I think I've got queen back. I don't see how I get to his king. It's wide open, but I don't see how on earth I'm going to get to it. So he can indeed play over. So I think I've got to keep him pinned. I don't want to trade. Can I stop a trade? I don't know if I can. I need this rook across. I'm 
Right, so the rooks have doubled up, so pressure on the pawn. Again, take, 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 I don't think it works. So I've got to check. Right, now I'm hitting a pawn, which sees it, as you'd expect. So let's try and break it open. Okay, but pawn forward allows pawn down and the knight hangs. Take, take, take just isn't playable. Let's move the knight forward. Yeah, I wonder if c5 is playable now. Okay, so he offers a trade, I don't want that. Ooh, is he looking for tricks like this maybe? Possibly, but I think I just have to try something. I mean, I'm playing a 2500, so I'm likely to lose, so you've got to try something. The pawn up is not playable, so I've definitely lost an exchange here. Ooh, ooh, that's terrible. Wow, so he's won both rooks. So clearly he can afford to give up a rook for bishop. And you know, I've got to be completely busted here, but let's see what happens. Oh, I've got to take that. Can't afford to lose this one, but there's nowhere at all it can go, is there? Absolutely nowhere. Yes, well done. Let's give him that one. Nicely defended. Okay, let's just go a little bit more cautiously. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so I can win a pawn. I'm hitting his bishop. Ooh, have I walked into something? Ah, oh, it's only a getting his pawn back. I've not blundered too much, I don't think, there. I think just bishop up, bishop up look fine. I'm not saying they are fine, but they look fine. Okay, just look to trade queens. Doesn't matter if he takes the bishop. Get a queen forward. Potentially we can go forward. I really don't care if he plays knight takes bishop at all. Just get the rook centralised. Okay, look to trade queens. Hmm. Got to be a little bit careful here. Put the king on a square where he doesn't have a knight check. I think rook across, rook across. No, that's not very good. Apologies if I miss any notifications, it's a little bit tricky when you're trying to focus on a game. Oh, I've blundered that one. <coughs> That's exactly why, not to worry. Hold on, I just resigned that. Why hasn't it resigned? Wow. Let's go for an e4. Rarely, rarely play e4.
Okay, I think I'll just let him do the taking, take with a bishop. I think a4, if forward I can just take. <coughs> Knight across, I think I can just drop the bishop back there. Okay. I think queen up looks fine with a view to try to get rook across. Maybe even a5 might be playable. Or I can just take the over the pawn structure. Yeah, I think I'd rather do that. Hit the pawn. I play a5. So he hits the queen. So I think I can pressure the knight. He might take, he might not. Whoa. Well, let's hope I'm not getting my queen trapped here. I think pawn up to hit the knight next. That bishop up first. There is a risk though, because he's still got this move. He's still got pawn forward. If I hit the knight, he goes back to hit the bishop. Drop back and it's just completely out of the game. I think I'll play pawn forward and drop the bishop back this way. Maybe rook across might have been sensible. But then I'm just giving him a free pawn. Oh, now that's tempting. Tempting to play a knight over there. I mean, I can just take a knight and give him the bishop. Gain a knight he takes, but no, he's going to get too good a position there. But his knight's being hit now. Pawn is protected. So his knight's a bit short of squares. You might have to play a five, then I think I can take on, but that knight can then take. Yeah, that probably bails him out. Right, so that's indeed... Oh, he's gone back. He didn't play a five, he's gone back. Right, I think it makes sense to try and trade queens now. Hit the queen, hit the bishop. Okay, comes forward. So now he can't move the bishop because there's a mate threat. Okay, so rook across. Now, have I got a cheeky takes, takes, and bishop takes, or even just takes? I'll definitely take the pawn, because if he takes it, I can take the bishop. I'm threatening knight across now as well to fork, and that would get rid of the bishop. Okay, just take, threaten mate again. So you might have to trade queens now, and I'm a piece up, so it makes sense for me. Oh, that can't be right. I think that just loses. Can't block with a rook, because a mate blocks with a queen it's over that's a good win he played pretty well most of that game though well done right another 2400 so a tough game Play pawn up here, but I'm not sure whether there's some tricks coming. There might be. There might be. Let's hit the bishop immediately. Just hit the bishop immediately. If he takes, he takes. If he drops back, he drops back.
right, just go back. I really don't like this move, but I think I need to play it. If he comes in, I'll take. If he comes forward, I think I can either kick the knight back or actually. Ooh, that's an ugly, ugly move, isn't it? Ugly move. What did I play that for? What on earth did I play that for? Let's play queen up, try and defend this pawn. I've got to get this rook off this diagonal. If I play a pawn up, he can move the knight and he's forking everything, pinning everything. Right, get the rook across. Mm, I don't like this move either. Can I try and get this pawn forward? Maybe bishop onto this diagonal looks a sensible move. Okay. That might solve some of my problems. I think I can take. Might be wrong, of course. Can I take the rook? Then queen back maybe if he takes with a bishop. I think queen back hit the knight. So he takes. I think I can take. My knight's protected. Okay, a pawn's just a pawn. Now we're going to try and go forward. Right, forward again. Then just forward again if I get the chance. On forward, so let's go forward, stick to the plan. I could be getting swamped here. I think knight back. This is obviously a big, big threat. I can take that, I think. So rock across. Hmm, I think I've got to drop back there, try and reroute a knight. Oh, that's a blunder. That's just a straight queen blunder, he missed it. Not everybody blunders, of course, in blitz, so... Let's hit the bishop and just try and run the pawn. Oh, why well, didn't I pin his rook? Just pin the rook. Got lots of time, that should be straightforward now. That'll be an excellent win if I get this. Is he seriously going to run the clock down? He's perfectly entitled to, but a little bit unsporting but that is an excellent win excellent win a tough tough tournament my rating is what 2035 that's actually higher than when i started the tournament but let's get on with the next one oops what's that one there right let's play a caracal i've not played one yet this event This could get a bit messy now. Try 
trying to remember how this goes. I think I can take and take. Oh, I can't. What am I doing? What am I doing? That is a calamity. Wow. What a calamity that was. A great win and then a self-mate. Okay, I think I can take just pawn up. And then bishop up and pawn up. Castle. As long as he doesn't play h6, which he does. Okay, let's put a knight forward. I'm tempted to even risk an f4 there and just try and plant the knight there. Is it worth it? I mean, I would never play this in a classical game, ever. Why not? Let's risk it. Clean up so I can potentially put the bishop in. Okay. I think rook across just to support this pawn. Obviously, if he takes with anything, I'll take back. Advances. Now I can hit the queen and the bishop. So I think it's worth taking. Hmm. Take, knight, take. I think I can take. Can I take this one? Gain a knight, lose a bishop. Don't it quite work? So let's just hit the rook. Pressure the pawn. Right, so Queen has to get off that file, I think. Let's go forward. Ooh, have I blundered something? Man, he can't take if, if he takes, I can at least get a pawn back. If he takes either way. So he plays across, sensible. Again, I can still drop back, and if he takes, I can take. Otherwise, I've got bishop back to protect the pawn. Potentially. He's playing very, very well, very well. Let's play rook forward and look to double up. I might be missing something. If I am, not to worry. the threat. I think I'll pin his rook. The queen currently covers this. For this pawn of course I don't think I can defend. But he can't play queen back to defend because I just take and then pin the queen. Ah he might have missed that. He might be unfortunate that he might have missed that the other rook was going to pin the queen. As long as he doesn't trap my queen with something like this of course but I could trade a queen for two pieces if, depending on what he does here. So if we see rook across, I might be able to just trade. And now his knight hangs, the pawn will hang if he moves. I'll just take it, that's cleaner. Now at my level, there isn't really any such thing as a formality, but there should be should be a formality. Just run the pawn up the board. Queen protects this. Just pawn up. 
Yeah, he's just missed that it was protected. Unlucky. Very unlucky. Right, 37 minutes left. 22 points, that equals what I achieved last week. Right, another player, 22.36, so that's higher than my best ever rating. Comfortably higher than my best ever rating, so this will be a tough game. Okay, so take, you can go e3 or e4 there. You'll probably play b5, or he doesn't. So take back while I can. Okay, I'll just waste a move and hit the bishop. Mm, let's play the e rook first. Okay, I think I'll transfer the knight to the king's side. Possibly even put another knight forward if I can. Let's just stay on the king's side. I'd like e4 at some point, but it would be a terrible move right now, knowing the knight over. But if my bishop's not doing much, it might be worth trading that knight off. Okay, e4 might get a bit more tempting now, if that pawn might get loose. Let's just play a rook across. Potentially queen up. Bishop down. Okay, drop back, still potentially bishop down. It's not really a threat while the queen's there, but puts it onto a better diagonal. Okay, grab the pawn. I don't think I'm getting my queen trapped, but I might be wrong. I think I can go here, then he's maybe got queen up after rook over. Then I think I can play queen right across if I have to. But if he's on a... where would he go? Could I play a knight across? Can I just play a king over and up? Possibly. Ah, he's got a light squared bishop, so he's got moves like this. The queen over is definitely playable. Knight over walks into g5 and I'm in trouble. King over, pawn down. I suppose I've got bishop up as a blocker, so I think I'd better run the king over. Ah, oh, man, have I missed this? Maybe I've got knight check, but I could be in real, real trouble here. So I think queen over may be essential. Yeah, I could be in a bit of trouble here. If the bishop goes here, the queen's escape square is suddenly lost. That's exactly what he's looking for. So I've got to play a bishop up. I think that's forced. If he takes, I've got to take here, I think, with a pawn. Right, so now I've got to go across. Hmm. Let's just take with a pawn. If it's bad, it's bad. I've potentially got a check. Oh, well, I can still check and take the bishop off. So let's do that. Oh, unless he goes there, of course, which he doesn't. Well, let's take a pawn and hit a pawn, so pawn for pawn, maybe. He protects that pawn I'll play up to protect this one <coughs> right he does go for it so I've really got to take as long as I'm not missing my king's escape square oh that's very bold have I got bishop up there I think I've got bishop up threatening to take the knight Maybe have I got e4 as well, or again, am I being too ambitious? Is that too greedy? 
Is that too greedy? Look, he checks, he might take, he does. Right, he protects, so again I've got e4. He's got to move the knight somewhere and I can win the pawn, I think. Let's go for it. If I lose, I lose. Who cares? Excellent win. Excellent win. Any win against a player rated higher than your best ever rating is always a great win. So that's a really good win. So I'll just take a break for a few seconds and... Hold on. Have they had a problem with the server? Is that why my internet dropped earlier? Because there's nothing at all showing in the standings for anybody. It's completely blank. So when my internet disconnected earlier on, I wonder if it was a chess.com problem and not my internet because the green lights are still on my router or okay. Okay, let's just play the next game, but I cannot see how anybody is doing at all. Okay, let's play something a bit different. Whoa, that's a very bold move, very bold. Okay, let's just take... What's he doing? Wow, has he got some sort of trick there? You might have a trick here with knight forward. Okay, so I've still got knight up there, hit the queen. Okay. Let's just drop back. Now maybe play six. Okay, I can play that and then manually castle. The stop is mate coming in first, then I think e6 is playable. Ooh, now he's going to try and blast forward, so I'm going to have to go for this. So I need to try and manually castle at some point. Actually, I'm wondering there. Knight over and knight across looks okay. Hit the queen with a tempo, then jump over. Oh, I've blundered it. Oh, you're kidding me. Forgot where the king was. That is a calamity. Wow. That's terrible. Okay, that's got to be over, hasn't it? My only hope now is literally just to sack and blast open. And pray for the best. Hit the pawn. Okay, drop back. Right now, I clearly can't take there. I've just got to play off and then maybe rock across. So, queen back to hit the bishop, I'm guessing. And then, do I sack the bishop? could take and take again when I take his bishop here. Okay, he wants an advanced pawn. I think I'll give him the exchange. Can I get the king up and get the rook into play? Is it possible? No idea, but I'm going to have to play it. I have to get the rook active, or there's no point playing on. I just drop back. Okay, I've actually got. Ah, bishop down is met with rook takes. That's a nuisance. Bishop down is now playable. It might get the bishop on a better square. 
If he rub takes now, I'm happy to trade off. I'm still a piece down. Actually, could I take with a pawn if he takes? So. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here, is there? I don't think there's anything can be done here. Okay. I think I have to grab the pawn. He might be able to just take there and then just pin. Yeah, just give him that one. Well done. Played a better game than I did. Right, let's play Sicilian this time. take with a knight there, I could take with a queen I think. Okay, I've got the castle there, so he's going to win a pawn, at least. How on earth have I got into this position? This is not known your theory very well. Oh, two pieces for the rook, do that any day. But, has he got a checkmate? I might be checkmated horribly here. How do I challenge that queen? How on earth do I challenge it? Have I got king over, rook over? I don't know if I've got this or not, but I'm going to have to play it. Oh, I've just given him queen takes pot. No, I haven't. It's protected. Wow. I need to take a break after this game. No, just 30 seconds or so. Now the back rank is protected. Knight onto a good square, block this file. Now I'm threatening bishop up to hit the queen. The queen is trapped, isn't it? I think he has to come down and... Actually, it's not even covered, is it? Isn't the queen just plain trapped? Where does it go? Oh, that's nifty, isn't it? Hit the queen, though, still, so... Wow, very, very niftily done. I've got a check though. Check, king across. If he plays king across, I think I've got knight into fork, and if he takes, I get a check. If he takes the bishop, I think I take the rook. As long as I'm not blundering a checkmate. If he comes forward, I've got a checkmate threat. If he takes a knight, I take with a mate. I really hope I'm not blundering this. Right, so Rook across can hit the queen, and he doesn't have a check. He can't go to these squares. He might have to go there. Okay, so now I think I can get the knight back. I know I'm two pieces up. Okay. So I think protect the queen so the knight's free to move. And then the knight can maybe come here. Bishop can move. Can I grab a pawn? Just give a piece away. Right, play the bishop to where it's protected. So I can still move the knight because the queen is covered. Let's go on an attacking square. Oh, there's a check. Win the rook. With a check, he can't protect it. Another excellent win against another 2200. Very, very good. Yeah, but all the standings are completely gone. There must be server issues somewhere. Oh, 23 minutes left. Uh, another one, 23.44, so I think it's a lady. I can't quite see the picture with my, without my reading glasses on. But if she plays at her best, she'll be too good for me. But you never know. Just see how it goes. Right, let's 
let's hit the knight. Then e3 can be played. So just take an e3. Okay, so I think I've got to play forward. But now my knight has got a really good defensive. So drop the knight back. Actually, I could take with the knight if she takes her. Then I can reroute to the better d3 square. Or I can go up this way. Yeah, let's put the knight forward. I want to go to d3. Okay, hit that bishop. I'm wondering whether I've even got something ambitious like queen up here or queen either. I'm not sure I have. I just hit the bishop there. Hmm. To attack it and nothing defend it, so that pawn is gone. Is there anything tactical? I don't see it. I don't see it. Right, let's drop a knight back. Right, knight forward. So I think I can pin the knight. The queen's not protected, so potentially rook across. I want to try and play moves like getting forward like this, but again, it's not quite so easy to do. <coughs> Have I maybe even got to move like knight down to hit the knight quickly? Okay, she just moves the queen. Knight up the knight can take. Knight can go in and hit the queen. These squares are covered. So let's just go and hit the queen. Mm. How do I get a pawn here and here? I want to push the pawns forward, but how do I protect this one from the bishop? I think I'm just going to play h3 anyway. Ah, now that square is a problem. Hmm. That is a problem. Okay, I need to put a rook defensive because I don't really want to trade queens, but after queen down, I can't see how I can avoid it, and I can't, can I? Didn't want that. Let's play another knight down. Ah, that's a terrible move, terrible. <coughs> my move, not my opponent's. I don't want to trade any pieces. Okay. Let's hit the rook. Right, so now I have to trade. Clearly my only possible hope now is time, so I've got to treat this a bit like a bullet game now. Oh, I blundered. Well, <coughs> in doing so I just blundered it, but well played. Yeah, still nothing showing up in the standings at all whatsoever. Right, let's go G6 game.
may take, may advance, either option is playable for it. Okay. I think I'll just take and develop the knight. Now if takes, do I go with pawn or bishop? I think I'll go with a pawn and try and castle. So very much a bog standard Karakhan position now. I always think that's tempting to take when bishops go there, but I don't think it's quite right there. Pawn up, then potentially bishop up next move. So I think I'll go for that. Now again, if it takes to go with a pawn, I'll keep it sensible with the knight or the rook. I think I'll just take. Bishop. Let's go forward with a queen off the board. Okay. I have a feeling I want the rooks off that file so I can move the knight. I'm going to maybe try and bring the king up. Okay, that's tempting to take. It'll open a file up. Actually, I've got a feeling I want the pawn forward though. And at some point try and get a knight in. Whether it's any good or not, I don't know. Now, can I get forward this side? If we can distract the bishop this way, sorry, this, this way, we can maybe throw in a knight check. Right, bishop up covers the knight either side. I think pawn up now. Oh, comes forward, aggressive. Oh, I've walked into a check, what have I done? I've left the check there, haven't I, silly. Well, I am hitting the bishop though. Those the knights I've got to take. If it takes, I think I take. If it takes, I think I take here. If it advances, I might have to take, but then I think I've got can I go forward? Okay. Can I get away with rook up? No, it's, you can't play rook up there, can you? That's risky, risky, risky. Well, let's put the bishop in the enemy camp. King back up. So there's no knight discovery check. So king up. Rook can come across to defend or can get onto an attacking file. The rook can't go behind that one because of my bishop. Now again, is there a takes, takes? I don't think it's quite playable. So just take and check. Hmm. This is not easy. Let's try and hit that knight. I think that knight is better than my bishop. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on. That knight's close to getting trapped. Ah, that pawn's going to fall after knight over. Knight over and my pawn is going to fall. Oh, now man, this pawn is falling. Wow. Terrible. 
If I can get the rook up and across, you never know. My best bet is to go for this pawn there. So try and go across and take. I think that's my only real bet. Square, so there's no knight check. Right, I see I've got a take there. There's no point trying to push that pawn, I don't think. I might be with this pawn though. Oh, Oops, mouse control, terrible. Can I hold this? Ah, oh, I'm one move short, I'm one move away. Gotta be careful not to give that diag. Ooh, 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 wrong square. Oh, two seconds, what am I doing? Wow, oh, that's the queen off. Wow, won it. Somehow won it. Swindled one again. Right, ten minutes left, eleven minutes left. Play another Karakhan. Okay, I think Bishop up looks okay. do here is castle, it's the only objective. Right, now we're going to look to support the pawn. Actually, is knight in playable as well? Is knight in playable? Because the bishop's there. Dangerous threat from white law there with a knight fork. I think knight is playable now. Now I can take the queen or pawn if it takes. Is it worth going for a gamble? You know, let's make it fun, why not? Two pieces for a queen. We're right near the end of the tournament, it doesn't really matter what happens now. Alright, hit the knight, I'm going to look to try and double the rooks up. This knight maybe comes back, hits this pawn, looks good. If I can get the rooks doubled up, I've got half a chance. Okay, I've got to take that. The only question is now, am I going to blunder a fork and lose a piece? I think I have to take that. Right, now the rooks are doubled, they're protecting each other. It's just about protecting the knight. Now I've got a knight checking back, knight down. Let's just put the knight where it's protected. Make sure we can't get back round easily. Actually, pawn forward looks good there. Gain an extra square going forward. It's not quite so easy for white now. I've just got to make sure there's no back rank issue and then I can try and activate the rooks. Whether I can or not is another question of course. Right, so let's just go cautious with h6 rather than h5. Here to protect the pawn. Now the queen hits this rook, so I mustn't move this one out of the way and leave a rook unguarded. Right, now I'm looking at getting rook across. Don't really care about this pawn as long as this is protected. Oh, there's a nice fork there. Lose a rook, gain a queen, lose a rook, and I'm an exchange down, but a nice pawn. 
Knight forward, lose a rook, gain a rook. Don't really like the look of that. So let's just get the rooks on a different file. Right, now it's easier to go forward. White might even play a sacrifice queen against two rooks. It's possible. Doubt it, but it's possible. Has indeed gone for it. Wow. Okay, so... I've got to protect that pawn now. Ooh. Now white can't allow me to push the pawn, otherwise it's just an easy game over. White has to stop that pawn. If I keep the queen as far back as possible, then it gives me a better chance to go after this pawn. Now if the pawn comes down, I think I can just take it. Otherwise I can just take it anywhere. Uh, right, so take, check, king up, check. There's a repetition. That's a bit annoying. Hmm. I don't want a repetition, so I'm going to give that pawn up. Now I'm going to try and double up on this pawn. I think I need g6, otherwise there's an easy repetition there. Let's go g6, maybe even h5. Now I think the idea is rook across. Okay, not now. So rook on a light square. I need to try and get the rooks forward. Rook across. Offers a draw. Go on, a draw's a fair result, isn't it? Well played. Probably should have played forward earlier, shouldn't I? Now I've got bishop in here or bishop. I think I'll go this way. Okay. Now which way do I have to go? I think this way. B4. I think I can just leave that and drop back. Ooh, now this could be getting dangerous. This could be getting dangerous now. Yeah, this is getting dangerous now. Let's go forward. Right now I'm just looking at taking. Maybe h5, h4 playable here as well. So I think queen b2 or maybe rook up might be forced here. Probably queen back I think looks more precise. Yeah, queen has gone back. So if I take, 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 queen blocks that and grab another pawn. But then I've got rook up and across. You know what, I'm going to go for that. But now I've got this big, big threat coming potentially with rook up as long as this pawn doesn't queen really, really quickly. Which it might do, of course. I'm going to sack this rook for this pawn, and I'm just going to sack the rook for the queen. 
So clearly I'm completely busted here. I don't think there's anything I can do. No, clearly there isn't anything I can do with this, so just give up on that one. Well played. Two minutes and a bit left, so there shouldn't really be time for one more game, but we'll play one anyway. H4 is the right move here, but H5 can come along. God, I'm trying to remember what was this. No, I think I'll play C3. Okay. I think you play a check there. I mean, there's only a minute a bit left, so if either of us get into trouble, we just simply stop playing and this game will just time out. I mean, that's pretty clear already. So you just take, and then Queen can take the pawn back. Hit the knight. Pretty good taunt, though. 30 points. Better than my 22 from last week. That's the one minute warning. I wonder why there's no standings whatsoever showing up. There's obviously been some sort of server issue. Okay, I think just rook across. You can maybe sacrifice there. Why not? No, you can't. So just knight up and knight across. Right, knight up again. Okay, just queen back. But there's only 28 seconds left, there's not enough time to play this out now. But bishop up and bishop up would be just common sense. Okay, just bishop up. Alright, the last five seconds, so the time is just about to expire. And there it is, game aborted. But there is absolutely nothing there whatsoever to tell me what the standings are. So something's gone wrong somewhere. Something's obviously gone wrong somewhere. But it's been a pretty decent Arena Kings, 30 points. I've finished 84th out of 527. That's not bad. I beat a 2400, beat a couple of 2200s. A few silly losses as well. But not to worry, but thank you to anybody who's watched this.